This is most likely what happy and blue violet will look like when you take it home from the nursery in these little four inch plants. And there's just a couple steps you need to take before it looks beautiful and you get that great ground cover in your garden. So Brianna is here. She's going to tell us a little bit about what we need to do. So what would be the first step when we first take it home? Well, the ideal thing would be to do would to be repot it okay. into a pot of your choosing. Okay. Um, and so you'd put the soil in there? Right. You'd want to have um, a light, fluffy soil like this that has good drainage. Okay. And how much would you want to put in there? Um, I'd probably do it halfway or three quarters of the way. Okay. Probably just scoop some in here like this. About halfway, three quarters. Yeah, so just like that. Okay. And then would you say that three would be good for this size? I would. I think it would make it nice and full. Okay. Okay, so how would, uh, how would I place these in the pot? Well, first you're going to want to turn them on on their side and take them out of the pot. Probably want to have the flowers facing out of the pot, so okay. probably set them like this. That's your next one. Let's and see. how about the roots? Is there something to do with the roots before you put them in the pot? That's a good question. The there is. You kind of want to break them up just ever so gently so that they can spread out in the pot. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Already looking pretty good. So then you're just going to want to fill in the sides with the rest of your soil. Okay. Just pat it down. So because this is a, a, a ground cover verbena, where would it look good in the garden? Can you put it in pots or, or what else would you suggest? Uh, you can, it would do great in hanging baskets or if you had a tall pot it would look great cascading over. Okay. And where would you want to put it in the garden? Would it be in full sun? Uh, full sun is going to be best. So Brianna, I'm assuming that next would be watering. So what would you do when you first put taffy in, in the pot and then how would you water it from that point forward? Once it dries out, you'd want to do a really good soaking. So you see it coming through the bottom of the pot or in the ground, you'd want to do a really good soaking maybe for, you know, 10 minutes or so and then let it dry out before the next watering. Okay, so just touch the soil and if it's dry, not moist anymore, then you'd want to... Right. Okay. So how about a f fertilizer? Uh, you'd probably want to do something high in phosphorus to keep it blooming throughout the season. Um, if you do an organic one, you'd probably want to do it every six to eight weeks. If you do a chemical version, you'd probably want to do it maybe every two weeks. Brianna, this is beautiful. Is this the same plant? It is. This happened just over a few months. Wow. So all we did with those three, four inch pots. We put it in the one pot. It didn't take very long at all. And this is what you get. This is it. And it's nice because it, all the flowers are, you know, 360 all the way around. So you have a nice, big, beautiful basket of color. It is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Brianna. You're welcome.